either way, it decreases your, um, Sorry, I just had to go off for a second. How's it going, everybody? So I recently made a video about the Hecate, or the Hakati, whatever you want to call it, and I said that it might be the best sniper in the game, which is still true. It really it really might be the best sniper in the game. It's really good. But I recently started using my beloved M107 again, and even though it's gotten nerfed quite a bit, I'm pretty sure, I still think it's a contender for best sniper in the game, honestly. The one-shot potential is obvious. It handles not well, obviously. The Hecate handles, or the Hakati. I'm just gonna, I don't even, I'm just gonna go back and forth, I guess. The Hakati does handle a little better, especially because you can put a move stock on it but uh yeah what did he think he was doing but the m107 is still really good just because it's semi-automatic first of all even though you can't really like spam it so it still does have like a fire rate issue not issue but i think it does fire you can fire it faster than the akati just because it's a uh, semi-automatic the recoil is also worse than the akati or at least it feels like it maybe it's not but the semi-automatic you know because you have to bolt so when you have to bolt a sniper the recoil kind of doesn't matter because you gotta bolt it anyways but like if i just do this like, that's, that's faster than the Akati. Like, I just fired, like, three shots in, in the span that the Akati would, like, be able to fire one. Okay, so here's what I think are the differences between, or not the differences, but the pros and cons of the M107 versus the Akati, which I think are the best two snipers in the game right now. Obviously, you can have a different opinion, but that's, that's just what I think. So, obviously, the Akati is gonna have much better handling. Maybe not much better, but it's gonna have considerably better handling, which is important because you can scope in faster, you can move faster, and just, you know, handle, handling is important believe it or not. And another pro of the Akati is that it might have more one-shot potential around the map because obviously sometimes any sniper is going to hit marker, even the strongest ones, even the BFG. And I'm not sure, I'm not exactly sure which one is more likely to hit marker. I feel like it would be the M107, but maybe the Akati. I'm not exactly sure. Either way, let's just say that the damage is about the same for both the snipers. The fire rate is definitely goes in favor of the M107. The recoil definitely goes in favor of the Akati. So basically, the Akati handles better and the M107 fires faster, I think is what I'm trying to say. I should have just started with that. Yeah, that's why you don't use the BFG, huh? You miss your shot, you're dead. That's why the BFG is not as good as people think it is. Especially when you have guns like this in the game that are just so much better. So really the fire rate, I think, is what keeps the M107 in contention with the Hakati. Because if they had the same fire rate, obviously the Hakati would win. But they don't, so... Oh my goodness, see, you just can't do that with Akati. You can't fire that fast with the Akati. And that's just the difference between these two snipers. What am I right now? I'm 36 and 6. That's 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 pretty good, I think. Anyways, my setup right now, I just use the default scope, and then I'm using a normal suppressor right now. I think the ARS suppressor might, I don't know if they nerfed this or changed this, the ARS suppressor might give you a closer torso kill range, even if it lowers your long range uh, values. I'm not exactly sure how that works. I'm not sure if they changed it, but it's gonna be situational most of the time anyway. So, but anyways, you can also run the muzzle break because it looks cool. Not really for any other reason. So yeah, obviously the one shot potential and the fire rate is just, that. that's the difference. If you assume they have the same damage, most of the time both the M107 and the Hakati are gonna be one shotting. And when they don't, it's not like a huge, you know, it's not a huge difference because they're both gonna be hit markering sometimes, right? It's not like there's gonna be one that's consistently hit markering more than the other. I don't know why that was so hard to say. Anyways, what was I saying? I, I just like totally interrupted my explanation of the setup. I didn't even, I forgot I was talking about the setup. The skeleton grip is the obvious choice for your underbarrel just because it's a sniper and you want good handling. And then right now I'm running a tri-laser, which I don't, I'm not really sure how important these, this section of attachments are. If you want the ballistics tracker, if you're a fan of the ballistics tracker, you can use that. I'm personally not a huge fan. I don't really think it does much, but look, what's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh shoot, wait. He has a shotgun. Yes, what? Why was he up there? So I'm running a tri laser. If you want, I used to just run a blue laser just because it fit my skin. So I'm not exactly sure how much you need to focus on that other section of the attachments. There's the extended mag, which the extended mag obviously has its benefits, which is uh, an extended mag, but it makes your gun handle even worse. And the M107 already handles pretty bad, as I've said. See, he still has a shotgun. What is he doing? He almost killed me, kind of, but, you know, I, I was just standing there because he had a shotgun. Man. What's he doing? That was... A, I don't know how that happened. And then the ammo, you're just going to want to run the default ammo. The other conversions, some of them are just, like, meme conversions. There's also, like, Tracerless and M903 Barret. It, or not M903 Barret. 416 Barret is an option, but not really. I'm not exactly sure what it does, but I think you lose a lot of your one-shot potential 
and you obviously don't want that because I think it changes your torso multiplier by like 10%. I don't know if it's more, if it's 10% more torso or 10% less torso, but either way, it decreases your, um, sorry, I just had to go off for a second. It decreases your max damage, which is not good. And I'm assuming gets rid of your one shot. What did I do? 51 and eight. That's pretty good. Anyways, let's just look at it. So voice 16 Barrett. Faster muzzle velocity, but reduced range effectiveness. Yeah, so you get from 85 to, you go from 85 to 95, from 85 to 89, and your torso multi goes down by 10%, so it was down, and yeah, just use the default ammo. I don't know why I'm explaining this, just use the default ammo. So basically what I'm trying to say is that I think the M107 is still the best gun in the game at range in a sniping scenario, obviously, which you're gonna do because you're sniping. Now, because it does bad in close range, it kind of has that on the Hakati, or the Hakati kind of has that on it because the Hakati can one shot in close range and it falls off in close range, which is weird, but it does. Except, like, in that scenario, you just, like, take out your secondary, so that's not that important. And the M107 just has, I think, the the best long range potential in the game. And I, I hopefully explained it kind of well in that game, but I don't know. Anyways, that's all I got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider dropping a like and a sub, and until next time.